I don't want to leave here. We have to go back to our tiny apartment. Our apartment is smaller than this hotel room. So this is like a flowers for Algernon situation where like once we live in the big hotel room, we can't go back to the small apartment. <sighs> we'll survive. Disney Springs. It is the morning that we are flying back to Texas. Very sad. Very sad to check out of the hotel. Um, did a whole like room review of our stay at Sapphire Falls. Definitely go check that video out if you haven't. But this morning we're hanging out at Disney Springs. We got some time before our flight. I wanted to see what the crowds look like. And I was just curious as to how busy Disney Springs is on a Wednesday. It's Wednesday morning. Mm -hmm. So we got some Starbucks, which didn't take very long at all. It was kind of crowded, but they moved pretty quickly. And right now we are heading directly to World of Disney, trying to get some last minute things. Um, so yeah, let's check it out. So even though it is Wednesday, the line for Gideon's is still spicy for sure. But right now they're not doing any virtual queue or anything. I mean, they're just having people line up, but it's already wrapped around the building and it's only like what, 1030? 1027 so everything's been open for 27 minutes and that's how long the line is super fun i will say definitely though it is really beautiful here in the morning and the crowds i mean there's not a ton of people here there's definitely people like this one this woman is here hello Hi. hello woman <laughs> you want a sprinkles cupcake there's no line there's no wait mm. i don't think they're open yet i got it cookies with technically like parts of three four, with my name on it. Four Gideon's cookies and they've actually lasted us to the end of our trip. Yeah. What kind of cookie monster are you? One that has to pace herself. <laughs> <laughs> Walking up towards the lime garage, they it wasn't open. The lime garage was closed. We wanted to park here and they made everybody go and park over by or in the orange garage. Uh, it seems that the Lime Garage has since opened, which is kind of annoying, but whatever, we need the extra steps. Coming around the corner here towards the Polite Pig, and again, not too bad, again, on a Wednesday morning. It is the week after the 50th anniversary. Today is the 8th? 6th. Today is the 6th. October the 6th. Not too bad. Night and day difference from the other day. The other day was a madhouse. It was it was Sunday, and it was like, what, like 2 o'clock in the afternoon yeah. on Sunday when we got here, and it was just a sea of people. Um, yeah. <laughs> Definitely much nicer, but we'll see how much of the 50th anniversary merch they have in stock today. Definitely less crowded in here, and... It seems like they still have most of the stuff that we saw from Sunday. We've been eyeballing this hat. No, not this one. It was one that has Mickey on it. But this one I like too. With the partner statue. Also, this shirt's really cool. That's really cute too, though. Look at little zippers. How much are these little zippers with Mickey on it? Super cute. $15. The legend continues. I hope so. I like these. Those are super cute. Also, this bag. It's got Mando on it too. Mando's on these socks as well? Those are cute. That's really cute. I'm really shocked that you don't want like a bag like this. Oh, or that. ears. Or that hood. That little beanie. I don't wear beanies. Don't wear beanies. We live in Texas, so we don't really need to wear beanies. Ooh, but but like super hat. cute. <laughs> oh gosh. Super cute. Why do I like hats now? I don't know. It's a good question. I don't either. But you wear them. I do. I think these are new-ish uh, for these like vintage 1971 style designs, and they have like the old school style of Mickey ear hats as well. I really love these. I love these shirts. I love this design of Mickey. He's my favorite. Um, also. I love these. I wish they weren't so expensive. 
but like these monorail shirts and this Mickey shirt, it's a Tommy Bahama one, but it's $135, but it's got a bunch of little Mickeys on it. Really cute. These like retro, I don't know, like neon color designs are super awesome. And I love this one as well. Y'all know me, anything that screams retro 90s, whether it is real or not, I absolutely love it. And I love this shirt. I also love this paint dripping design, but I don't see it for an actual shirt, but I love that design. It's so cool. Melissa is definitely a sucker for Hocus Pocus. And she really, really likes these cups. We don't have any room for any more cups though, unfortunately. If we had a bigger kitchen, I would say get them. But I have an easy out because our kitchen is tiny and we have no more storage. I do wish we were staying a little bit longer so we could go to like one of the boobashes or something. Cause we did Mickey's Not So Scary like three years ago and it was so much fun. And I miss all the Halloween stuff. I'm glad we got to see it. Like this giant Mickey pumpkin. Or these little mini pumpkins. And if there are tea towels in a store, <laughs> my wife will find them. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I can't, I can't falter. How much are these? $21.99. Wicked spooky. Is that like, is that like wicked smart? Uh, yes. Trick or treat. Those are super cute. How much are those? Twenty-five. dollars Not bad. If you're a mug collector, those are really cute. I like those. Is this for the new ones or the... It looks bigger. That's a door. That's for... I think that... I think that's the size for yours. No, that's for mine. That's the, the original. Oh, man. These Donald ones, super cute. I love that they now even do mannequins for the dogs. Like these little spirit jerseys. Look at that wiener, it's cute. If y'all want ears, this is the spot, for real. Oh, I like these, these are super cute. Just have little paint brushes on there. These are super cute. The popcorn bucket ones been eyeballing these leather ears this like faux leather ears they're not real leather but for a very long time I think pretty much all the ears are $29.99 regardless of style definitely still again not as crowded as it was from Sunday it looks like they have still have everything so it looks like the 50th, 50th anniversary merch will be around for a while I'm sure they're not gonna run out of this stuff anytime soon um, yeah, there's tons of the little soap dispensers over there. You've got pajamas, you've got ears, you've got bags. So, definitely can find what you're looking for. I think we just found these little, it's like a jewelry, it's for like jewelry, right? Like rings and you put your necklaces on and stuff. Super cute. How much is it? And it's only like 18 bucks. That's really, really cute. Got out of World of Disney and it's 11 o'clock now, a little after 11, and it's definitely picking up. There's definitely a lot more people. I noticed it like substantially picked up in the store, in the store, store, in the store while we were in there. It's definitely not slow anymore. It's after noon now and it is definitely picked up, it's much more crowded. It's also really, really hot, so I think we're gonna call it a day. It's definitely not as crowded as it is on the weekends, which is probably obvious and clear, but I was curious to see how busy it was gonna be. The parks were kinda busy, but not too bad, so. <sighs> Are you sad to be leaving? I am, but I'm ready to not do anything for the next couple of days. I mean, you've been on vacation for how long now? Uh, seven, ten days? And how many more days you got? Five. <laughs> sad. I'm very sad. I have to go back to work tomorrow, but I work from home, so at least I don't have to, like, get dressed, dressed and stuff. Anyways, there you go.